It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. Just like to put that out at the beginning of the video that anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays for the replay request series to know more about how you can send me your replays for the cast you can join the discord server link to that is on the twitch panel and in the description below we got mofat spawning in over here bottom right around the five o'clock position as the purple undead he is the replay requester and the top replay requester on the channel how can how you can how can you change that well basically you can change that by sending me more replays of yourself or your friends or whatever you can send me replays of pretty much anybody it doesn't have to be your own replay that you send me for the replay request series it could even be a replay from warcraft3.info just send me the replay and i will have a look at that he will be playing up against a player known as Snake who is spawning on the top left at the 10 o'clock position. This will be Blue Night Elves. Map is going to be Tide Hunters, one of the newer maps introduced into the map pool around about a year ago probably. It's still going to be new. It's still going to be relatively new. And uh, this game has already become a interesting considering the fact that we are going to be having a warden coming out for Snake. Uh, Mofat gonna go in for Death Knight. Now Snake is a returning opponent. He has already faced Mofat in the past and they have had an epic encounter. Uh, for the guys that like to see games like these, Nidal vs Undead, you guys can find that game on my YouTube channel as well. And uh, yeah, I think I should actually put it down somewhere. How can I type it? I'm gonna have to learn how to type that stuff. Need to be more convenient, Stormy. Need to put down links and stuff. People need links. The creeping has begun for Snake on the orange camp at the top there. Has to be a bit careful of that big sea giant. As AoE, although, well, AoE is least of his worry because he doesn't really have that many units, to be honest. That's one thing a human player would be worried about. A human player not so different than the one you're seeing right now on the stream. That's Mr. Stormy Z. Uh, speaking of which, I got admitted to GNL. I mean the team known as Superstars in Training. Hells yeah! They got a lot of people this time, as in they got like 13 people per team. And like, I'm pretty sure they have like more than 8 teams or something. That's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a big season. Mofan's gonna sell off his TP, head in towards this camp right here and try to get himself an expansion it appears? No, uh, sacrificial spell though. And don't see enough uh, resources to be able to set an expansion, but you got two acolytes here. Something's definitely up. He probably forgot his... Uh, he probably forgot his uh, sacrificial skull while heading in over here and he's gonna feel a bit of a bummer over there because of that. And he is going to haunt the gold mine, okay. That's one thing I did not uh, consider. I was looking at Mofad's resource and I was like, yeah, you need like 300 gold and 200 lumber around to expand. But of course, undead players can just haunt the gold mine and not have to worry about that. As uh, the warden is uh, creeping more camps out with the Ancient of War creeping. Uh, it is a pretty low on HP, you have to be a bit careful with that. But it is just as rewarding as it is risky. Because the Warden is almost level 3 now, DK for Mofad is level 2. Expansion is coming in, so this is one thing that Mofad has... Um, I don't think it's hidden anymore. I did see something on the minimap go by to that location. Now I'm not exactly sure if that was a Wisp or something else. It was probably a Wisp. I'm gonna go for Wisp. Mofat heading in with a huge army of ghouls towards the main of, uh, well, main as in Snake only has one base there. He's going in, gonna disrupt the moon wells. Uh, Snake is right, currently attacking, so the amount of moon wells Snake loses, that is definitely gonna hurt uh, Snake's economy a lot. Warden's coming back, Warden's got uh, Shadow Strike and Blink, no, so no fan of knives over here. Fan of knives would have definitely been superior in this particular scenario, but of course you can't change that on the go just like that. You need a tome of retraining and a lot of gold to purchase that first. You gotta be available in the shop. 
Uh, we got a big fight going on over here. Now Snake uh, is gonna have some trouble. If he loses his wisp there, he's gonna have to wait for some time for until he can get them back. And until he can't get them back, he's gonna lose big on the lumber there. And we got a dust your appearance go down by Mofad. That's one thing you definitely want while attacking an idle player. That coil there kills the archer. Sorry about that. I have something poking in my ear with a the headphone there. It appears to me that the Angel of Wonder is going to stand up and fight. Although I would rather want to keep it rooted while fighting than uprooted. I guess you want to change its position a bit. A second Dust Up here is being forced to use. Um, for what I'm going to go for Shadow Strike level 2. There we go. Shadow Strike level 2. That's going to be much more devastating and much more dangerous against those ghouls. He's going to take them down one by one, no problem. And it appears to me that uh, Mofat couldn't exactly get too much damage done. Mofat actually lost this fight big time. And he is forced to go back to his base. Now, he would rather, like, you could rather think about it as a mission accomplished for Mofat because he managed to set up his expansion and get it mining completely uncontested. uncontested. And uh, even if... Uh, Snake knows about it, he really isn't doing anything about it right now. Well, Snake is basically gonna try and counter expand from what I understand right now. That's, I guess, his safest maneuver for this. Uh, he got himself to tier 2. Going to put down his tier 2 production down real soon, I guess. Or maybe getting that expo would be a good idea. Mofad back at his base, tier 2 coming in. Now here's the big problem that Mofad is going to face. His tier 2 is delayed, his lich is going to be delayed, his tier 2 building is going to be delayed. Um, and I mean this is kind of the chain effect of going in for the expansion early on. This is why I don't prefer going in expansions early on. I know I'm not exactly the pro player, but as in, as in the preference, I don't really like being in a situation like this where everything is literally delayed for you. You have a warden level 4 on the other side, an expansion coming in for snake as well, ancient of uh, war probably gonna be dropped around this area, or maybe just keep it standing there, maybe just like that for some protection. Gonna go in towards the shop, didn't really buy anything there, potion of invul would be nice, Saga is gonna creep it out actually. That Warden is almost uh, gonna be level 5 after that camp, while Mofad also is going in for more creep camps. His Death Knight's definitely gonna be leveled up to a nice uh, part. Oh, you got like two crypts over here. He didn't really pump out a lot of stuff though, despite of having a uh, double crypt there. I believe he's going to wait while well, he is producing more ghouls now. Although. He has one uh, little benefit against uh, Snake. Snake did not go in for Fan of Knife, so he can use this strategy. Otherwise, like, this strategy would be futile, but here's the thing. Sna all Snake really needs to go for Fan of Knife is a Tomb of Retraining uh, from the shop, and it's available right now. If if uh, Snake wants to get it, and if Snake knows that Mofad is definitely going in for Mass Ghouls, I would really, if I were in Snake's place, I would really be going in for that. Is get the, the Tomb of Retraining, retrain to Fan of Knives, and go in for a Shredder? Hmm, that's surprising. He's gonna tank up some damage there, and he's actually tanking more damage than he can chew, if you be frankly honest. You don't really want your Shredder to be weak. It's not gonna regenerate, you're gonna have to heal it. That's the bigger problem there. And Nidal player is rather performing Heresy with that Shredder, because the Shredder will indeed destroy the trees. The wisps do not destroy the trees, they just collect the, the wood magically. He got a good number of claws of attack over here on Mofad's uh, inventory there. Maybe... yeah, I'm probably gonna want to use that round of necromancy to summon a skeleton warrior and pick that potion of greater mana. Definitely, definitely the choice there. And sell off the slipper of agility later on by a potion of inwell instead of that. That'd be a good idea. That'd be one thing you want to do. Expansion all set, and yes, this was the wisp that detected what was going on. A this is the wisp that knows that attacked. expansion is there. So, Snake right now, I'm not sure what his plan is. He is going all the way up to level 5. That creep camp will give him level 5. He's going to tier 3. We have one Ancient of Lore, one Ancient of wa uh, War. So, level 5 Warden, not gonna gain any more experience with those creep camps. Definitely gonna have to push in towards Mofad's base, Mofad's army his expansion anything to be able to soak up any more experience. Expansion for him is still being entangled while Mofad goes in for the orange camp there. 
Now here's a bit, bit of a thing now. This camp is harder to creep out than this camp. And I'll tell you why. I mean you can just look at it. I guess I guess uh, that would make sense to you now. This camp is actually harder to creep than this camp. Well this is an orange camp and this is a red camp. I think we're going... Oh snake went in for it. Snake went in for the Tome of Retraining. Perhaps, I don't know, maybe you can pick up a panda. Uh, he doesn't have enough resources, now he does. Is he gonna get a panda? Alchemist, perhaps? Would be a good idea, definitely would be a good idea. He has no resources. It's gonna be Alchemist. He's heading in towards the base of Mofad, going after the Slaughterhouse, which is producing a meat wagon right now. Well, Mofad creeps out the red camp. His hero was delayed, but got himself to level 2. Level 3 incoming soon, level 4 death knight there, now I'm gonna use the TP and what do we have here? Ancient of Wonders inside the base of Mofad, why do you wanna have that? We're gonna, gonna get cancelled, detonation and fan of knives! Mofad's entire army will be annihilated within a moment now. I just wanna see fan of knife, fan of knife, fan of knife and dead, yeah there you go. A second scroll of healing? What the hell? He had like two scroll of healings over there on the side of Mofad. A third fan of knives incoming and a lot of a lot of those archers are getting taken out and heal spray is not being used to the best over there. I must say I've been proven wrong over here by the amount of DPS that Mofa is using in this particular fight there. Those uh, scroll of heals definitely proved their worth I must say and uh, gave Mofa the opportunity to save his ghouls against the double or rather level 3 fan of knives. now. I don't know how that happened really if you think about it. Mofad can do that again. He just has to go and buy himself the scroll of heals. For a moment I guess Mofad kind of detected that there likely going to be a situation where he faces that because he used scroll of heal two times now. Who the hell picks that up two times? As he goes in for the rock golem camp, the goblin map camp. He has a vision over here. He has a snake. No vision bottom there, so he knows that Mofat is likely heading out from one direction or the other. He's pushing in. Riots are a bit weak, don't really want him to frontline the battle there. Big fan of knives. This time the ghouls are not going to survive, courtesy of any heal spray. Well, heal spray is on the side of Snake there. Fan of knives incoming. Oh no, there we go. All of them taken out and staff of preservation back to the base. He got his job done. He got what he needed and he has no reason to stay over there to get killed at the hands of the death knight and lich there. And I'm back out of it, death coil on the archer, Mofat is still following, still hot in pursuit. Uh, Alchemist still has a lot of HP there. Oh, he didn't heal, why didn't he heal, he's gonna get killed. Blink, but attack, <gasps> whoa, whoa. Alchemist gets taken out. Why didn't he heal the warden there? That didn't make any sense to me. Maybe he did. He didn't really have a lot of juice in the tank there. Now he does a bit. Artificial Knight. Is, is it the Artificial Knight? Yeah, this is the Artificial Knight. Moonstone. Oh, what's going in for? What the hell is this? Necro wagon? It's a real knight. Why am I saying artificial? Knight looks a bit different. Yeah, that. Oh, goodness. It was an artificial knight. But it is already night time. Why do you want to use an artificial knight in the night time? That, that makes zero sense. Time of day, current time of day. Yeah, I don't really know what that makes me unless a little booster is a bit drunk. I can actually put off booster and put it up again just to know if it's actually the one making uh, no sense there. As uh, Snake heads in towards Mofat's expansion, big fan of knives. He's gonna go and take down those acolytes. Now, this is really the big problem right now. Level uh, freaking three fan of knives does not kill all of those acolytes, and he needs something that definitely kills. Like, he needs to go in there, attack them once. Each of them once and then use the Phantom Knives. Phantom Knives does not damage buildings, so the cigarettes, spirit towers will enjoy. The bears are being murdered there by Mofad. Uh, Snake trying to get in towards the back line, perhaps go after those Necromancers. That'd be a good target for the Warden. 
but uh, he's gonna be prone. Cripple! Cripple coming in! Fan of knives! Just two of the necromancers hurt though. He's gonna use blink, but he's gonna be slow though. Rejuvenation going down. No mana for any more of those. Something more than that. Dark Ritual. Need the rejuvenation. Go, go, rejuvenation. Not doing it just yet. Oh, it's already there on that bear. The other bear getting taken out just like that. Ripple is just too deadly. You need some dispel, baby. Acid Bomb with Fan of Knives, but the Alchemist is just not able to prove its worth right now. It's just getting murdered. Blink again. Rejuvenation. Snake not having the best time right now. Oh no, that was coming. He knew that was coming. Should have just TP'd away. And to be frankly honest, I don't really see Snake coming back from this game right now. There's gonna be such an uphill fight. Like, Mofan's gonna have to mess up big time for Snake to actually come back because this is over. Both heroes are already down. He got some Chimera roofs coming in, but really. Mofan's gonna go in for creeping instead. He wants to level up his Lich. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Can't really level up his DK there for uh, booster, booster down. Yeah, it is night time. It was always night time. I don't really know what the hell was that about. And yeah, what the hell is there? Ooh! One big thing I miss there now: Warden being revived from the tavern and then use the TP to go back to the base. So, is this something that? Snake would need to come back. I don't know if it's gonna work out. He's training a Chim. Chimeras may just be the answer, but he's gonna need a lot of Wisps in the front line to detonate. And he's gonna need some of them to detonate on the Necromancers as well to drain away their mana. Perhaps splash it on all over the Undead army. You do have a special ability as an idle player, you just need extra Wisps there. Yeah, if you have like 3 to 5 Wisps in every fight, if you think about it, you could theorize something like this. You can actually completely drain your opponent of their mana. Just need to push them in, yeah, just like that. Just push them in the right direction, in the right place. And don't let them die, just like that. Expansion down for Snake. And Mofad's uh, Mar March of the Scourge will be pushing in at any moment now. Mofad currently sitting at an 80 foot army. This can only end one way, but... Well... Nick's actually got a small battalion of soldiers, I must say, and he also carried in the Shredder. He's pushing, uh, he is pulling in Wisps as well, but I don't exactly know what his plan is. He should definitely be around his base and going a bit far away. I don't really know if creeping is the best idea right now. Here's the big problem. The big problem is you're gonna have to use Staff Preservation to get your Warden back, which is gonna try and blink away a bit. Warden's been slowed. Another Chim in the field. Will the Chim be the answer to all of this? This is the big question now. It is daytime. Moonwell is not going to regenerate. Alchemist uh, is kind of under leveled in this situation right now. Need a big fan of knives. Need to go way into the fight and big fan of knives. Big fan of knives! Need to wait for the second one. Chim's coming in. Going after the Lich. Their Lich taking a lot of damage. Need the second fan of knives. Is that potion of... Was that a potion? Anti-magic potion? I don't know what exactly that was. Need, need some moon wells. Need some moon wells. Pulls us down. Warden is so weak. Potion of field. Use it now. Big fan of knives. Level 6 warden. Cast the avatar now. There we go. Avatar up. Will this be exactly what he was needing? Will this keep him alive? Take the avatar away. Avatar of vengeance needs to stay alive. Use the TP with the alchemist there. And where's the warden? Warden is right there. Warden gets TP'd into the base. No, this can be disastrous. <gasps> warden TP oh, blinking back to a position where he can't move. Alchemist goes down and the game is over. My goodness. What a game. Lovely. Absolutely. That was great. That was an amazing game there between Snake and Mofad. Mind you, a few mishaps, a, mis a couple of mistakes on both sides, but overall it was an amazing game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button. While watching this as a video on YouTube, subscribe for more and just like always, I shall be seeing you next episode of Warcraft Day. It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game.